What's up everyone and welcome finally to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. That's right, your boy is back with another battle after a pretty long time since my last one. Pokemon Bank has come out ever since and, well, it was kind of there for three days then went away and uh, let's be honest, they're probably just going to keep saying, it's coming soon guys, don't worry, but it's actually never going to get here, so... Where in the world is Pokemon Bank? The world will never know. Anyway, some people already got their Pokebank Pokemon, which is awesome. I haven't really gotten many of them, so I'm still using kind of an old team here. But you can see our opponent, Finn, or Crow's Claw, I believe was his name on Twitch chat. Crow's or Finn, if you're around in the comments, be sure to let me know or leave a comment so that I can include your channel in the description. But uh, yeah, he's got his Pokebank stuff here, at least Heatran, which I guess not really ironically, but... In my thoughts, I was like, you know, when Pokebank comes out, Heatran is gonna be on the rise again because he's like one of the things that can tank out fairy types really well, so... Yeah, I said that and then here's the first battle and already we have a Heatran here. I think Genesect is another thing that's like running wild now, but uh... Yeah, I haven't battled in a while, so I kind of need to get used to all the new stuff. Anyway guys, my team I think is the one from the last battle, or one of the last few battles, it should be the same. Finn's team here is pretty awesome, aside from Heatran, he's got uh... Some standard stuff, but they all have something a little special, and you'll see that when we get into the battle. So, without further ado, let's get started on Wi-Fi battle number 10. We're in the double digits now. Let's go. Finn is issuing the challenge with his pretty boy swag there. He's got that trucker hat, and I, I don't even know what else. But there we go. I was like, this Tyranitar looks a little bit different maybe is he like has he been tanning a little bit no it turns out it's a shiny shiny tyranitar uh just slightly different there i guess the purple chest and also the blue well it's normally blue but we're gonna immediately focus blast that thing i was a little scared that we would miss but we actually end up hitting it and i'm like okay if this guy didn't switch he must have some special strat with this tyranitar turns out it was actually a focus sash he's gonna hit us back with the stone edge which is very powerful he does get the critical hit there i'm not sure if it would have killed without the critical i mean Hydreigon is kind of frail, so it probably would have, but either way, takes us out in one hit. So that was, uh, yeah, kind of a bad start for us, just because Hydreigon's already down, but we did get the Tyranitar down to that Focus Sash. So he's going to set up the Stealth Rocks, which, uh, at first I don't really worry about, because it doesn't seem to be denting us that much, especially Aegislash. He can tank up that Sandstorm, so I get a Sword Dance off. I could have just gone immediately for the Shadow Sneak, and, you know, not have to worry about that Stealth Rock there, but... Either way, we get a Swords Dance up, which is going to be pretty helpful here. I think I could have even gone for a second one, because I don't think that Earthquake, if Tyranitar had it, would have killed us. You know, if we were in our defensive stance on, uh, what is it, Aegislash. So, you can see here, he sends out Heatran for just a split second, just to immediately bring it back uh, into his party to send out Togekiss, which apparently is also shiny. I was like, how is this shiny? It looks exactly the same, and apparently... The little red and blue things on its ear spike thing switch around, so best shiny ever. Somebody give the guy at Game Freak that came up with this shiny a medal because, man, he is putting in the work. So he's going to go for Nasty Plot. Our Shadow Sneak is doing a ton of damage. I guess he didn't want his, um, he trying to die to a Sacred Sword, but... Either way, we hit Togekiss, we hit it with a Shadow Sneak, and you can see it is doing a ton of damage. So, another Shadow Sneak would have definitely killed that Togekiss there. So, he's going to switch back out. He did get the Nasty Plot, but it doesn't really matter. That was just a turn that, I guess, didn't really matter for Togekiss. But, he's actually going to go out to his Venusaur, the only other Pokemon other than Tyranitar that has a potential for Mega Evolution. So, kind of knew that this would be his Mega right here, and indeed it was. So, Mega Venusaur with his uh, super fertilized palm tree on the back he's got a whole forest growing back there that looks pretty delicious but we actually end up taking it out i was very very surprised about that i guess the first shadow sneak must have been like minimum damage and the second one there maximum because he did mega evolve halfway through that and we still killed it that gives him like a 30 defense boost when he mega evolves so i really wasn't sure about that one either way we do end up taking it out he's gonna send in his also shiny ditto so you guys can see Crows does not mess around, man. He has got all the shiny Pokemon. I'm still here sitting with zero shiny, so... Uh, we actually predict the Shadow Sneak there, go for the King Shield. Um, he could have gone for a Swords Ant there, I suppose, but he ends up going for the Shadow Sneak. I don't think that would have killed us. Well, definitely if we... I don't know, if we were in the normal stance, it might have killed us, but we definitely went for the Shield stance there, so we survived the Shadow Sneak, lower its attack. So 
So he's going to go back out to Togekiss. We're going to take that out. That was a critical hit, but I don't think that really mattered since the first Shadow Sneak we hit on Togekiss did a ton of damage anyway. So there goes Togekiss. Now he's going for his final reveal of the shiny. It is Slowbro, Barney the Dinosaur with a strange uh, poop colored shell, I, I want to say. The poop jokes are too strong right now, man. But seriously, that Slowbro shiny is pretty awesome. I like the purple. I'm not sure about the shell, though. Have you guys noticed the shell also blinks? Like, look at that! Did you see that? The, the shell blinks! I had never noticed that. Maybe it happens in other generations, like in 5th gen, because, you know, they actually have animations, but... It's so much more noticeable now in X and Y with all these awesome 3D models, so... The shell is definitely strong, man. Um, but... I should have gone for a King Shield here before we Swords Dance. Kids, take your notes, man. Always go into that defensive form, because I go for the Swords Dance, hoping to do a ton of more damage. It actually does a lot more, but not enough to kill it. So we're actually going to die here to the Scald. I believe it was a uh, critical hit, yep. But either way, if I would have gone for the Shield form and then Swords Dance, that Scald would have done a lot less damage. Uh, but there was also the risk of, I guess, getting burned, so I didn't want to risk that. Either way, Aegislash finally goes down. We swept like three... Pokemon with that, so that was pretty awesome. I'm gonna say good job to Aegislash there. Aegislash, Aegislash, however you like to say it. Um, he took out like three or four Pokemon, so that was pretty awesome. I honestly thought we could have set up for that Aegislash sweep, but I didn't want to get burned with Skulls, so I don't know. In the end, he died. And now we're gonna send out Minty Fresh Breath throughout the land. I believe I've been trying to show off Mega Gyarados for a couple of battles, and I never got the chance to. By now, I'm sure you guys have seen many of them, but he's gonna come in and take a huge chunk from the Stealth Rock, which is actually a pretty big problem what i should have done here in retrospect was actually gone into excadrill gone for the rapid spin therefore clearing away the stealth rock but to be honest i didn't even remember that uh, stealth rock was set up but you'll see why in a second because we got hit by that stealth rock there that means that minty is already chunked down this earthquake is not really enough to kill us but i go for the dragon dance here that was probably a mistake on my part because i forgot one crucial thing and you guys will see that in just a second as Finn or Crozier is going to withdraw his Ditto, the shiny Ditto. I was like, why didn't the shiny Ditto turn into a shiny Pokemon? But I guess that wouldn't really make sense. Normal Ditto does copy shiny and if it, you know, never mind. Confusing things, but he's going to go out to Heatran. Again, he's like, I guess when he's shiny, he's even hotter than before. I guess a lighter shade of red. And I'm like, why would he just send out his Heatran to die like that? I'm, I was very, very confused, but... It turns out that Ditto actually copies stat changes, so now this Ditto has also got our Dragon Dance boost, which is very, very scary. This is a Choice Scarfed Dragon Dance Ditto. If you guys don't know, Dittos usually run a Choice Scarf just because they pretty much copy your Pokemon and uh, take, take it, pretty much copy your Pokemon and make it even faster, so there's no chance of you surviving. Now, here is the crucial point where I'm like, okay, we're done. If I cleared away the Stealth Rock there, Romano would not have taken that Stealth Rock damage. I do have Focus Sash on it, so we would have definitely survived this Waterfall, gone for an Earthquake, maybe done, not enough to kill it, but enough for my next Pokemon that's coming out to kill it. But uh, since I did not ever clear away those Stealth Rocks, you know, we take a chunk from that. I get the Ice Shard off just for a little bit of damage, but uh, now comes Slurp. He sh if he could have gone in for Earthquake there... Oh wait, he's got Scarf, so never mind. He is locked into that Waterfall, so... I don't know. If I would have earlier cleared away that Rapid Spin on Slowbro, or, yeah, those Stealth Rocks, maybe there would have been a chance, but we do get the U-turn off here nonetheless. That would have taken it off, but nope. Oh, man. Few mistakes there, but now a battle that seemed like it was pretty much won when Aegislash took out, like, five of his Pokemon actually ends up being a sweep by the Mega Gyarados. Shooting Star is going to come out. Of course, he always breaks the mold, but that doesn't really matter because this is a scarfed up Mega Gyarados of Doom with a Dragon Dance. Actually, it's all just a ditto. Imagine that. Just think about this for a second. That Behind all of that makeup there on that Gyarados is actually just a little blue ditto, a little piece of blue gum. I don't know, man, but awesome battle nonetheless. I really underestimated the ditto. I didn't realize at first that uh, it would actually copy Dragon Dance, so I was like, why did he switch into Heatran? But genius ideas by Crows here. Outplayed real hard there, so we lose that battle, but still a really awesome battle. I felt it was pretty close, and uh, I felt it was a pretty good battle to, I guess, come back into competitive battling after being off for a while. Uh, I was planning on streaming a little more, but my internet was not really the best yesterday, and uh, I'm working on some new teams with some of the new Pokebank stuff I got, so... Yeah, that is going to be it for this battle, guys. I'm going to be working on building 
a new team with hopefully a couple of Pokebank things, maybe even a couple different teams there. I'm working on one right now, but uh, yeah, hopefully next time I stream, I've got some more awesome stuff for you guys, a little more variety. I hope you enjoyed this battle. If you did, guys, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles coming in the future. As I said, I do want to stream some more, but... Here, the internet's not really the best, so uh, once I get back to Orlando, we'll definitely be doing a bunch more streams and battling a bunch more of you guys. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.